Hi, Lights and Gear is back with another flashlight review. And if you're at all familiar with the Olight brand, you'll know that they've had their uh, series of baton flashlights now for a few years, all been quite successful. I got my first one, a very small one, uh, about four or five years ago. And right now they have a new version of the 18650 baton light out. Uh, this one is, as you can see from the package here, the S30A baton 3 and they've upped the ante on the output to 1050. It still takes a single 18650 battery. It um, uses, in this case, an XML2 LED, and they've also added rechargeability to this particular version. So as you can see here, it is rechargeable, and it comes with a recharging base, and it also comes with an 18650 battery. So there are some nice um, little extras with this particular version of the baton flashlight and they have had other um, uh, other ones classified as as 30 I believe before but um, again this is the S30R so um, it is waterproof as it says right here to IPX8 submersible to 2 meters and the beam throw is at about 188 meters with that um, XML2 LED um, not a whole lot of information on the box, on the back, however, they do give you um, a fair amount of um, knowledge, including the specifications regarding the output. There are five regular output levels and strobe. Uh, strobe is the only emergency flashing mode on this one, but 0 0.5 is the output on moonlight mode, and then you go to 12 lumens, 120, 500, and 1050 on turbo. Uh, it does say here 1,500. So they are, I believe, indicating that perhaps there is a ramp down after a few minutes from turbo to high. Um, it must be, well, anyway, I have personally not read that in the uh, manual, but uh, it's probably going to be, uh, it's probably going to be uh, a few minutes there. So anyway, a little bit more information on the size and weight of the light there. Now quite a bit actually comes in this box. As you can see the box looks relatively empty right now since I have removed the contents but uh, there's quite a bit in the box and it's all packed up very very well. Uh, you do get this uh, information packet here on other flashlights and there's the picture of the other S1 baton which I got uh, a while ago and uh, still a nice little light and they do have some of their others listed in there. You also get a uh, adjustable lanyard in the package, and I haven't even unwrapped it yet, but uh, it'll be a nice little lanyard. Uh, you also get uh, the instruction manual. It's kind of long and thin here, but does open up to uh, some pretty good information. Um, does have the basics here on the front, as we were talking about a few moments ago. And uh, there's also a uh, lockout mode, or not a lockout, well, yeah, there, there, there's a lockout feature on the flashlight uh, to prevent any accidental activation. And you can take a look at that. There's also a timer on the light. And I did see this recently on another light, can't remember which one, but um, it'll go in two timing sessions of either nine minutes or three minutes, depending on how long you want the light to stay on for before it'll automatically turn off. So that's something you can set it to while it's already on is either a nine minute shut off or a three minute shut off. It also has instant access to moonlight and turbo mode. Um, otherwise um, it will, otherwise the, uh, the sequence, the sequence that you uh, click the mode switch to will be low, medium and high. Uh, it does not, it has a memory, it does of course memorize the last mode you use, but it does not memorize, uh, does not memorize turbo or moonlight or strobe for that matter. So low, medium, and high are the uh, outputs that it does memorize. And okay, let's get to the um, actual flashlight after which I show you the charging base. And that's right here. And it's a nice little charging base. This is magnetic here on the base. The tail cap of the flashlight is also magnetic. Are all are, and that's the same with all baton flashlights. They all have a magnetic base. This has a little light on here so that when you 
uh, plug that into charge, the light turns green or will light up green. I'm sorry, it lights up red when it's charging. Da da da. Right. Lights up red when you first put it on to charge and then it turns green, obviously, when the charge is finished. Uh, you have a USB output on here. You can see that there. It says extended on it. If you turn it around, you get the regular micro input for which you uh, plug the USB port, the USB uh, plug into that to charge the light. And here is the USB cable which they furnish, micro of course. So the micro end of course plugs in right there. And then of course the other, uh, the other end into any type of USB outlet you can get your hands on. And um, from there you go. As soon as you plug that in, and you put the flashlight right in the center, and uh, away you go. It will start charging. I actually tried this out and put an inline uh, current tester on it, and found it to uh, use around um, pretty close to about 800 MAs uh, of current, which I was quite impressed with. So anyway, long story short, here is the flashlight. Finally, we do get to that, and. Uh, it has the one switch here on the side which handles all your functions and a nice pocket clip which is very tough and sturdy. Here's your uh, XML2 LED in here. And the way you put the, the way you put the, oh yeah, it says right there, there, there's your name there so you know it's the right one, S30R Baton 3. And the way you put the battery in, obviously undo the tail cap. Now they also give you a free battery. So. In addition to everything else, you get this Olight 3.6 volt 18650 3500 mAh 18650 battery. So that's nice. This is already included in the flashlight when you get it. And the way it goes in is backwards from most other lights with the positive end at the end. And this is uh, magnetic in here. So that uh, attaches to the light. Uh, one thing I will mention is that I did try this with um, a flat top battery and it didn't work. So I'm going to assume, now the one I tested it with, the flat top was very flat and almost recessed a little bit. So it wasn't making contact in here with this little button, which the head has to do. So I'm going to say that probably flat tops might not be a good choice for this since it needs the button there to make contact with the button there. Uh, obviously, they give you this battery, so I mean, theoretically, there is no particular reason to use another battery unless you want to. Uh, that's up to you, whether you swap this battery out for something else, or whether you use it occasionally, or what. But they do give you the battery, so, I mean, that's really a moot point, I suppose, in that um, once you put it in there, theoretically, you never have to take it out again, because here's the charging base. There's the light. It almost starts to sit, it sticks to that as soon as you start to put it in. So there you go. I mean, theoretically, you don't ever have to do anything else with it. You never have to take the tail cap off once you put the battery in because there you go. You can charge it and uh, that's it. Unless you want another battery to have, um, you know, as just so you're not using this one constantly. Uh, another battery is kind of a spare, but if you're going to charge it inside the light, then obviously you, you know, but whatever. So. That's the uh, whole process there as far as that's concerned. Now the light itself, when you turn it on, all you do is push the button. To turn it off, you push the button. The only press and hold is when you uh, want to change modes. So to turn it on, I just give it a click and it's already on. To turn it off, I just give it another click and that's pretty easy. Uh, once it's on, you will press and hold the switch to cycle through the modes and you'll see right here that it's only cycling low, medium, high, low, medium, high. That's all it's doing right now. I can go back to low and if I want turbo, actually let me turn the light off here so we can just take a look at this as we as we always do. Whoops, I have another light on which kind of surprised me. One second. There we go. All right, so we are on low right now and we'll uh, just fan it out for a moment here. So here is low, and I'll tell you one thing, this button is a little bit hard to find in the dark um, because there is no illumination under it while it's operating, so it's a teeny bit hard to find. But anyway, here we are in low, there's medium, and there's high. Now, as I said before, I can go down to low, and if I want to get to turbo from any particular mode, all I do is double-click, and I'm instantly in turbo mode. So here we are in turbo. And again, turbo does not get memorized, so if I turn it off, 
and then turn it on again, it'll actually be in high mode because high was next to turbo and it doesn't memorize turbo. It mem memorizes low, medium, high. So anyway, if I want to press and hold it, I go right back down to low. Now if I want moonlight, I have to be in the off position and then I have to press and hold the switch. And there I get moonlight. So there's moonlight, only about uh, 0 0.5 lumens. And of course you're going to get nice illumination at a very close range in pitch dark with this mode. And if I press and hold it, it'll just go right up, back up to low and then cycle through the rest of the modes. If I want strobe, I triple click from whatever mode I happen to be in, one, two, three, and then I'm in strobe. If I press and hold it from there, I go back to medium. I think that's medium mode that I go back to. Yeah, that was medium mode that it seems to return to after it's been in strobe mode. One, two, three, it's in strobe. Press and hold, and it's in medium mode. And then, of course, with one click, it will turn off again. So uh, there are your basic modes. As I say, no, fl no other flashing modes other than strobe. And to get to turbo anytime, just double click. And then uh, to get to moonlight, you have to be in the off position and then press and hold it, and you're in moonlight. And if you want to read about any of this, uh, you can go to my website at lightsandgear.com. The link is below, which has the written review, and which also has some outdoor beam shots, which you might want to take a look at, which will uh, give you an idea of what it can do outside. Now, one of the other things I didn't mention is it has a low battery indicator, a low battery voltage indicator, and the switch here will turn red. The switch doesn't seem to illuminate for any other purpose. Uh, it doesn't give you a um, battery voltage indicator, uh, as some other lights do. So it kind of remains uh, dark until the time that the battery gets below 3 volts, or thereabouts, and then this will light up in red. And it does that quite effectively. If you want to see a picture of that, that is on the website. And uh, there are other pictures there which also include the operation of the charging stand. You can take a look at that there and you can see the green and red light with the uh, charging base working on the website. And I also didn't mention that on the bottom of this are suction, are like, uh, you know, rubber suctions. So as soon as you put this down on a surface, it sticks there and it's not going to come off. It's not going to roll, it's not going to flip over or fall off or anything. In fact, you really even got to tug, you have to, you have to tug on it uh, to, uh, <laughs> as soon as I put it down, it's stuck. So I think that's pretty nifty. And as I mentioned before, as soon as you put this in there, it's magnetized, so nothing's going nothing's gonna to move either of those, even if you bump into it like that while it's on there. There's a good chance that it's uh, not going to really fall over. So that's your Olight S30R. I think it's pretty nifty. I think they've done a, a pretty good job with this, especially with the uh, little charging base. And uh, the 1050 lumens is pretty nice, as is the beam itself. Very well, you know, you saw that a few moments ago. It's not an XPL, so it doesn't get out really, really far. And it's not a, uh, you know, it's not a, a dime size hotspot. So um, it has good, uh, good coverage there and so forth. But uh, lightsandgear.com, of course, is where you can take a look at more flashlights, batteries, chargers. You can read the whole review of this flashlight with additional pictures. And of course, there's a link below in the description here, plus on the website, if you want to pick up the, S -er the, the S30R Baton 3 for yourself. But thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video, and we will see you next time. Take care.